Please welcome the Alvord Board of Education, Board President, Ms. Liseth Vega, Dr. Joanna Dorado, Mrs. Julie Moreno, Mr. Robert Schwant, and Mrs. Carolyn Wilson. Alvord Unified School District Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Alan Musarino, and the Alvord Cabinet, Dr. Sherry Kemp, Dr. Robert Presby, Ms. Dusty Navat, and Mr. Kevin Emmenaker. I would like to introduce our principals, Mr. Luis Medina and Mr. Craig Shiflett. And finally, welcome the graduating class of 2021.
Good afternoon, class of 2021. We are going to start today's ceremony with Jose Casares from Alvar Continuation High School. He will do the Pledge of Allegiance. Hello, my name is Jose Casares. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and invisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the Albert Continuation High School and the Albert Alternative Continuation High School Ceremony, Class of 2021 Commencement Ceremony. Please welcome Councilman Jim Perry to address the Class of 2021. Thank you, Mr. Medina. It's always great to be at this uh, occasion on a yearly basis, and trust me, I will be short. Congratulations to all the rebels and wolves who are graduating tonight. You've done a great job. You probably thought this night would never come to fruition, but here you are. Each of you have faced many challenges, and you've worked very hard to earn your diploma. No one can ever take that away from you. Not even a pandemic can keep you from walking across this stage and obtaining your prized possession. Tonight, tonight is the first day of the rest of your life. Make the most of it. In the coming days, months, and years, there will be many positive and probably some very tough and challenging days. Face each one head on with determination and the drive to succeed. The Alford Unified School District has provided each of you with a strong foundation to go out into the world and make your unique mark. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you're not good enough. Be strong, be focused, and set a goal on where you want to go and the impact you can have on others. Make a difference in someone's life. No matter where this roadmap in life takes you, remember, that, remember your Alford and Riverside communities. Keep us in your future, and I encourage you to stay and make an impact in your community. Once again, congratulations. Now go out and conquer the world. Thank you. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Coles. He's our Albert Continuation High School teacher to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sorry I forgot it, but we're going to have Mr. Coles do the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sorry. The National Anthem. Please rise. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, 
that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free, free, and the home of the Thank you, Mr. Gold, for doing the National Anthem. Thank you again, Councilman Jim Perry, for addressing our class of 2021. I would like to continue by introducing our student reflections. We have Amber Ulloa for Albert Continuation High School. Good evening, class of 2021. We did it! I came from Hillcrest High School, and let me tell you, originally, school did not work for me. When I got to Alvord Continuation High School, I was still in the mindset of messing around, Thank you. and practically not caring if I graduate or not. I was going through rough patches in life, as everyone does. When I got to Alvaro Continuation High School, that changed. Teachers here taught me how to be my most authentic self. Going from not caring, getting into fights, et cetera, because we're not going to get into that. They showed me how to be mature, to learn from my mistakes, and most importantly, do better. Here's a following quote from Riza from Wu-Tang. Be open to the echoes of wisdom. Its truth will reveal itself in time. I've been through so much these past years. My family and I were homeless, having to figure out where our next meal will come from, and trying to find a job to help pay with the bills and other responsibilities. Thank the Lord I have my friend Angel and her family support through it all. Also my boyfriend Brian and his family for always being there. And Alyssa Avalos' family as well. Woo! It got better after a couple months because the struggle was real. I kept pushing and had support from everyone at Continuation High School to keep going because they saw the potential in me that I didn't. Just when I thought I was in a good situation, COVID-19 hit. October 10th of 2020, my dad passed away from COVID. May he rest in paradise with my Nana and Sandra as well. Life may throw hardships at you or even tear you down. Excuse me. But that doesn't mean that you cannot pick yourself up. <laughs> my dad and my Nana taught me to have faith in the Lord. My struggles are my testimony, and I will, and in the end, I will come out blessed and righteous. For those that doubted me, I'm still here, baby, and I'm better than ever. I would like to conclude my speech from a, from a quote from Ice Cube. Damn, I can't believe it. Today was a good day. Thank you, Amber. Next, we have from Albert Alternative Continuation High School, Cynthia Ruiz. Please come up.
Good evening, class of 2021. Before I start, I just wanted to say that we did it. All the late nights, staying up, and all the stress we went through was all worth it. Before arriving at Albert Alternative, I was attending Norte Vista. At first, I wasn't taking high school very seriously. I wouldn't show up to school, but I just had a hard time focusing. I thought I had all the time in the world. The first two years at Norte Vista, I had only completed 55 credits. At the beginning of junior year, I started attending school at Albert Alternative. Mr. Resendez, the counselor at Albert, had told me that I needed to complete 165 credits to graduate. I honestly thought I wasn't going to graduate because of how behind I was. At first, I didn't ask any questions to help or help. I thought the teachers didn't care. Boy, was I wrong. I began to ask for help and even trust them. Throughout the time at Outward Alternative, I noticed that graduating wasn't only important for me, but for the teachers as well. All I can say is that I am super grateful for all the teachers at Outward, for all the help and support they gave me, not only for me, but for all the students at Outward. With all the help that I was getting, I was knocking out all my credits. I only had 110 credits to graduate. But then, COVID hit. I had to work from home, Coming from a Mexican household, it's not easy and it's not quiet. I struggled because not only was I in school, but my other three siblings were also attending. My parents would work in the morning, so me being the oldest, I had to help out and be the, the world model. I remember I got COVID in December for a whole month. Instead of laying down, doing nothing, I completed 85 credits in one month. After winter break, Mr. Resendez had told me that I just needed 25 credits to finish. It started to all hit me. I couldn't believe it. I was actually going to finish. On May 3rd of 2021, I graduated early. Now that I am graduated, I will be attending Moreno Valley College. I will be going into the program as a dental hygienist. If I hadn't enrolled at Albert, I would have not graduated. I might have been in some trouble and in a really deep hole. I wouldn't be able to go to college or, trace, or chase any of my dreams that were once out of my sight. And now they are just a few steps away. So Mr. Jeffrey, Enriquez, Rec, Caceres, Polo, Ms. Bear, Ms. Bronk, and also Ms. Gutierrez, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the help and everything you guys did for me. And of course, Mr. Resendez, and Mr. Chiflet, thank you guys. So class of 2021, may I have the may I have everyone rise up? Look around. Give yourself a round of applause because we did it. Thank you, Cynthia. I now have the distinct pleasure of introducing the students of the year from both of our continuation high schools. For Alvar Continuation High School, our student of the year is Jacqueline Figueroa. Jacqueline is not here today, but I'm going to read valuable information about her and why she's successful. I would like to introduce to you Albert Continuation High School's Student of the Year, Jacqueline Figueroa. She is a bright, motivated, and determined young lady who is graduating in her junior year. She came to Albert in the beginning of her 10th grade year along with her sister. She said then that she had a goal, to graduate as a junior. She, during elementary school, had missed a year of school due to family concerns. She really wanted to finish with her original graduating class and work consistently, even during COVID, to achieve her goal. We know that her future is bright. Her next goal, which she begins in the fall, is to attend Riverside City College, intending to complete a degree in nursing. We look forward to hearing about all her future successes. For Albert Alternative Continuation High School, the student of the year is Kasim Hashemi. Please come up here. Thank you. 
No, you're good. You're good. If you're into it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of this wonderful day. Before I introduce myself, I would just like to say a couple of things. I know we all worked really hard this year. Our teachers, our staff members, our administrators, our parents, and our family members, even our graduates. Without a doubt, everyone, including myself, worked really hard this year to get into the positions we are. So may we all enjoy this day because even though we graduates are the ones who are supposed to be celebrating today, it should really be our teachers, mentors, counselors, and peers who made those unnoticed sacrifices which we benefited from. So on your way out today, thank them for helping us when we were once strangers to them. Because the second we leave this stadium and a couple months pass by, we'll be strangers once again. My name is Kasima Shimi. This is technically my third year in high school. And just like everyone else today, I had to make sacrifices to get here. This year, did I not only have to adapt to the online school learning, but I also went on a five-week trip in a country known for nothing but poverty, sand, and rocks. I couldn't sign into my classroom meets due to lack of Wi-Fi, but I still made sure to get my work done through patience. I tell you this so that you can motivate yourselves to achieve better. And I advise you that with the right passion and sacrifices, you too can achieve many great things. And so I personally thank our amazing staff members for choosing to help me and other students under any means necessary. Now, although we earned our diplomas and we worked hard for it, it will be our parents who get to show it off the most today. So may we congratulate our parents as well for accomplishing that which many can't accomplish. Congratulations, parents, for raising the superstars of today. The journey to graduation is one of our first major breakthroughs in life. It opens up the door to many great opportunities and advantages. It is the bridge to adulthood. And trust me, you don't want to let it slip away. Right now is the moment to decide to decide what you're gonna do in the future, to decide what type of life you choose to live, and to decide how you're gonna achieve those dreams which you think are impossible. No matter who you are, where you came from, or what you did in your past, it doesn't matter. We all have to move on in life. Today is a day of recognition, but as well as a day for a fresh start and opportunity for a new lifestyle. A door to greatness which only requires some effort and attention. So become in control and change your ways. It is said that big accomplishments and tragedies lead to new opportunities and chances. So I encourage you and leave you today with this short message, that today is a new start, a fresh path. Use this new start as a way to better improve on yourself and to push to achieve that which you love. Step up, rise to greatness. Don't let this chance go to waste and you'll indeed succeed. Now I know I said that was my last message, but I cannot end this speech without giving credit and recognition to the amazing staff members and administrators here at Alvord. I highly appreciate our dear respected teachers and only ask that we give our appreciation to them. We all know with the coronavirus, we had to make many changes and I'm sure it was very stressful. Although at first it may have been a bit of a pain waking up early in the morning, but the way our staff members organized our work habits was highly efficient and well managed. For this, I thank you. One last message that I have. If it weren't for Ms. Bear's kind gratitude and passion for helping students and Mr. Rex's constant helpfulness, I'm sure I wouldn't be here today. I know Mr. Rex was most glad the day I left. I still remember all those times where I would ask him questions and spend minutes contemplating on getting my assignment done. Without you, I don't think I would have made it here. Thanks for being amazing. To the rest of you teachers, to the rest of you teachers and staff here, I'm sure you are just as amazing and the students can confirm.
Thank you parents, students, staff members, teachers, and family members for taking the time to listen to my speech. Have an amazing day. And to the superstars of today, I hope you leave today with the passion of chasing your dreams and taking control of your future. Have an amazing day. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Kasim. I have the honor of giving the principal's remarks today. Class of 2021, we are so proud of your accomplishments on this special day. You came through, all those students started to come in person a few months ago with like a few months to complete work to catch up. Some of you earned credits at a fast pace, others maybe 100 or more in a month or so. Other students at a steady pace, 10, 15 a month, while others dozens during the last three months. One student got 67 credits in one month. Not only did you amaze your teachers, other school staff, your parents, family members, but mainly yourself. You learned so much about yourself and what you can do during these stressful times, especially during COVID-19. You're very, a very unique class in the sense that you persevered and overcame again during these tough times. This reminds me of a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, an American lecturer and philosopher, which says, what lies behind you and what lies in front of you pales in comparison to what lies inside of you. Class of 2021, you have accomplished what many have not, especially during these very difficult times or circumstances. You earned your high school diploma. This is something others, not only in this district or others, or other countries want or could not get, but you have done it, and we are here honoring you. Therefore, you're, on your graduation day, on this special day, we honor your hard work and dedication and journey to success. Board of Education, I would like to present to you the candidates for the gradu graduating class of 21 and meeting all of the requirements for a high school diploma in the Albert Unified School District and State of California. Please welcome Albert Unified School District's Board of Education President Lisette Vega for her address to the class of 2021. Thank you, Mr. Medina. I would like to take this moment to thank everyone that is here today to celebrate the class of 2021 and to our administration for doing such an amazing job at organizing this special event. It brings aboard so much joy to see everyone here in person celebrating the end of this chapter in your lives. It saddens me to know that this pandemic took so much away from you. Many of you could say that you barely survived it, but here you are, so resilient and so strong. Because of the obstacles and challenges you were able to overcome, not only will you survive the real world, you will thrive. Not too long ago, six years to be exact, and like I said, not too long ago, I was on this very field looking up at the stage. I remember thinking that I was so glad to be done with school and all the drama and sleepless nights that came with it. But I was also nervous and scared. I wasn't sure what the future would hold. Would I succeed? Would I lose my friends? And as silly as it sounds, would I find love? But it's so easy to get caught up on the future that we forget to live in the moment. Truth be told, your life probably won't turn out the way you imagine it. Along the way, you'll make mistakes, lose friends, experience heartbreak, and have some very regrettable nights. That's life. However, you'll learn from those mistakes, make new friends, find love several times if you're lucky, and create beautiful memories. There is so much out there you should experience. Try not to stay in your comfort zone because believe me, most of the things that seem scary or risky are probably the things worth doing. 
I can say that because I became an elected official at 21 years old after transferring to UCR from community college. So whether you decide to pursue higher education, join the military, or enter the workforce after school, make sure you do it with passion, but most importantly, make sure that you do it for yourself. Don't weigh your successes or failures by comparing them to others. You each have your own path, and even if you get stuck or have to turn back, the journey and destination is yours and yours alone. We are very proud of your accomplishments as students and young adults. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2021. On behalf of the Auburn Unified School, the School District Board of Education, I accept the candidates of the class of 2021. Congratulations. We will now present the diplomas for the class of 2021. Please welcome Mr. Michel for the presentation of Albert Continuation High School's graduates. Also, please welcome Mr. Resendez for the presentation of Albert Alternative Continuation High School graduates and Albert Community Adult School graduates. Except students, the first row line up, please. Right into the left for both schools. Thank you. Not up there. Not until you get down for a picture. Kasim Hashimi. Jose Casares. Cynthia Ruiz. Amber Huoya. Claudia Sotella. Alyssa Avalos. <laughs> Jessica Santana. Jackie Montes de Oca. Myra Carranza. Jonathan Lopez. Oh, 
Angel Rivera. Eric Alvarez. Obed Rodriguez. Paula Dominguez. Carlos Pineda. Evelyn Zarate. <laughs> Roberto Ronquillo. Rachel Angelo. Woo, Rachel! Jesse Zuno. Sloan Elmore. Carl Hershauer. Amy Almaraz. Gabriela Benitez. Paige Oynes. Uriel Lopez. Andrew Cruz.
Gabriel Uribe. Brian Cisneros. Bianca Stephanie Herrera Esparza. Brian Vera. Lisette Urbina. Anthony Velasquez. Ezekiel Perez. Vanessa Hershauer. David Diaz. Esperanza Benitez. Kevin Aguilar. Parker Angelina Ochoa Garza. Victoria Velasquez. Emily Barajas. Berenice Chavez. Nathan Guerrero. Kalisha Jones. Alexis Carmona Ayala.
Janelle, Sine, Titus. Kayla Hernandez. Miriam Heredia. Jacob Flores. Axel Fuentes. Andrea Betancourt. Joshua Martinez. Lauren Gonzalez. Marvin Moore, the third. Giovanni Haurigi. Paul Arizaga. Alexis Kilgore. Mary Jane Rodriguez Aguilar. Ornella Malvasini. Armando Hernandez. Hey, 
Daniel Miramontes. Jasmine Angelis. Andres Soria. Morgana Mena. Daisy Navarrete Tudor. Hugo Alberto Garcia. Notorian Greenwood. Gilbert Figueroa. Luis Vega. Anthony Jamal. Fred Stabil. Alex Barra. Karina Brown. Angelina Nicole Garcia. Christopher Crickon. Esmeralda Ruiz.
Christopher Hernandez. Nadalyn Alonzo. Jordan Yorahe. Lindsay Romano. Panina Manu. Reina Zuniga. Luis Franco. Julian Lopez. Kristen Diaz. Roger Sanchez. Right, right. Juan Tolentino Zamundio. Joel Rosales. Kevin Oliveira. Arlene Felix Cuevas del Villar Correa. Alia Orozco. Lisbeth Alba.
Alejandra Jimenez. Reseda Garcia. Nicholas Gutierrez. Jaylene Aguayo. Yasmin Arenas. Ariadna Montoyo. Ryan Mitchell. Christelle Silazar. Jessica Cortez. Jacqueline Garillo. Amber Givens. Leslie Zuniga. Danny Ramirez. And now to recognize our graduates from Alvord Community Adult School, Carla Melendrez. <laughs> Yasmin Zarate Lopez. Susana Garcia. <laughs> Olivia Alegria.
Louis Godinez. Norma Rivera Cervantes. Jimena, Jimena Torres Millan. At this time, at this time, graduates, please move your tassels from right to left, signifying that you are now official high school graduates. Congratulations. This concludes our 2021 commencement ceremony. Again, congratulations, class of 2021. Graduates, at this time, please begin the recessional. We'll go from the first row. Yes. <laughs>